I've been doing is um, teaching clown, uh, clown Bertram. He's funny. He wears white face paint, sports. He wears this like hat, shaped as a cone, and he has this dummy. He's scary. It's a bit scary. Mm. A famous clown in this area in uh, Clacton. He actually had no money, came to Clacton, performed on the pier. He was so popular within a week they actually had to start thinking, well, we better build a theatre for him. And so they built a theatre, and even then on the pier they had to build an even bigger one. So it's about Clown Bertram and uh, the history of him in Clacton. Oh, and he worked in the 90s. 1920s? 1920s. And 1952 or 7 he ended. They were always really keen to know what to say and to be getting the right sort of answers and remembering what they've done. Um, but yeah, they've definitely they've been really enthusiastic about it um, and are sort of always like, oh, when, when are they coming back next and when are we next doing it? And um, are always very keen as well. Yeah. to know the children first of all and got them to tell us about Clacton, about their families and about the school. So it was just a real sort of basic start of getting all the sort of the golden nuggets of finding things out from them. We brainstormed uh, what Clacton means to the children um, and sort of came up with a slogan and then we identified areas that they particularly were interested in. What we did is we drew a a picture and then we would cut it out and then we would use a paint roller to put it over on a piece of paper which would then make it look like well an animal oh they loved jackie coming in they've been so excited i loved it so so much work on World War One, and with Gavin and Andrew they did some work on how evacuees kind of came to places like Walton during World War Two. so it's kind of given a bit of context to some of their learning. The people who were evacuated that came here? Yeah. From a team building point of view it's been really nice because they kind of had to work as part of a group and share each other's ideas and listen to one another and make sure that everyone's voices get heard. I'm probably nervous that I, I can show more of myself than I want to, I, I don't know really where I am for it.
So we've been looking at the history of holidaying in Frinton and we've been sort of getting to grips with why it is that people want to live here and holiday here. So we've been looking at stories from over the last century of things that have happened when people have come here on holiday and why they've wanted to come here. Um, and we've looked at it through puppetry and crafts and arts and crafts. So they've made a little sets of their stories that they've been looking at and they're sort of talking about what's been happening through pop sock puppets. So. This was good for our like teamwork because we had to like group together and make a really good like performance thing. They've all been very engaged. I've not seen anyone who's been sat sulking, so that's good. <laughs> um, like different people's abilities, what they're good at and what they're not. Yeah. <laughs> I think for the children that immensely valuable. It's given them a whole different take and look on things. because they prepared little scripts with their sock puppets to let you know how they've made their cases. <laughs> it passes pass us on to the troublemaker plan. Ha <laughs> ha 